Uh, but when it comes to the tax issue, uh, you know, we pay the highest corporate tax rate of any industry in the country. So we're already paying at 35% plus the state taxes and plus local taxes. It gets close to 40% for some retailers. So that's our number one priority is to get tax reform done and bring some relief to this. The border adjustment component of this that's in the House blueprint that got proposed uh, last summer, it's a year old. Uh, no one really expected it to ever go anywhere. I think uh, that most people that have looked at this now have concluded that this isn't the right way to go forward. It creates too many winners and losers. It picks between industries. And uh, many of the folks inside the administration have made that point. <coughs> Clearly, there's not, not a lot of appetite for this in the so Senate. So the message we you're have... getting from the administration is that it is not happening? Well, I think you've heard Secretary Mnuchin go on record and say mm -hmm. this isn't something that the administration prefers. Uh, Gary Cohn as well, various others. And we were with Senator David Perdue last night. Uh, it's very clear that there's no appetite for this at all in the Senate. There's no champion for this anywhere. So I think what we need to do is go back to the drawing board, look at the things that can get done, some of the things the Vice President talked about, um, some of the things that folks like Larry Kudlow and Stephen Moore have talked about. Let's pick the things that make the most sense, a territorial right. system, you know, bringing back some of those offshore earnings and uh, reducing the rate, broadening the base. But the border adjustment tax is too complicated and it's going to hurt too many Americans and raise prices on the working class.